to you with a little recipe. Well, I don't know if you call it a recipe, but it's just what I'm going to have. Um, I'm not even having it right now. I'm going to have it in a little bit, but I'm going to go over to the curb market and see uh, what's on the ugly table. Um, and I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, when you're making your plan, let's just say that your plan is you've been trying to... Uh, you've been trying to go raw for X number of years. You've been trying to, you know, you've been dilly-dallying around about it. That's where you want to be. And I'm not saying that's where everybody wants to be or needs to be. But that's where you want to be and it's your personal goal. Um, what do you need to do? You need to make your, your setup what it needs to be to be successful. You know, do you have junk food in the house that... And this doesn't, I mean, if you have a family, I know because I've raised a family, you know, my teenage son still lives here. There's food that he eats that I would not dare touch. Um, I just don't eat it. I'm just not going to eat that cheese pizza in the freezer. You know, it's just not going to happen. But are there things that you have, let's say like they're, they're blue tortilla chips. And you know it's hindering your progress on this situation. You know that it bogs you down. You know that they're salty. You know these things, but yet you keep them there. But that's not your goal plan. And you've been like trying and trying and trying. I would just get rid of it all. Or give it away to somebody that needs it. Let your family eat it. Um, and a lot of times these are, these are sort of in between foods that, you know, maybe they're rice cakes or maybe they're, they're things that just bog you down and you know they're keeping you from getting to where you want to be. I would get rid of those things. Stop buying them. What about salt? Do we have salt in our cabinets? Why? If you don't want to eat salt, why do you have Himalayan sea salt or whatever it is? And I do realize some people incorporate that. I don't eat salt. When I, before when I used to eat salt, even when I would try to add, um, what they would say was the healthy salt and whatnot. I mean, I could really see it and feel it the next day. I could feel it in my whole body. I felt like I could feel it in my joints. Um, another thing, are we investing in high quality food? I mean, and I don't necessarily mean the most expensive thing. What I do mean is, you know, when you go to your curb market or wherever you're going to get your food, see, this is what I do. I see what's affordable that I like. And I'll even maybe taste, I'll say, can I, can I have a sample of this? Because if I'm going to buy a whole lot of it, I want it to be good. I mean, just like with the tomatoes, you know, tomatoes vary a lot in taste. Melons are something I can't stand if they're not good. It goes from being so good to something that's really almost bad. So, um... You know, make sure you're going to love what you eat so that you enjoy eating and you feel like it's a privilege to get to live on this lifestyle and on the plan that you've designed that you know is the best thing for you. Um, what else? Always have the food on hand, you know. Always have your bananas, just like I was talking about this morning, stocking up on those. You know, and just remember that, always keep in mind why you're doing this. Why is it you're doing it? Because if you have a journal and you're mapping that out, if you have a vision board, if you can just keep that in the front of your brain, um, you know, you're going you're gonna to see and you're going to remember. When the day is long and hard, I can't decide where I want to put the phone. <laughs> and, you know, you're just tired of thinking about it. Your plan's there. You don't have to, to be constantly thinking about it. You can just know, here's my plan. If I do my plan, I'm going to get the results I want. Um, here's another little tip for you in the evening. If you will add, if you're feeling like, if you've had mostly water-rich fruits during the day, and you're feeling like you can't calm down, I have this problem sometimes. Cinnamon on food has a very calming effect. It balances the blood sugar. Even if you're putting it on apples, you're putting it... Um, Maybe you're going to blend it in with a little bit of dates and have that on some celery like, like you used to do the little ants on a log, you know. Or um, have it in your banana ice cream. It has a very calming effect and uh, it can help you feel 
come down a notch. You know what I mean? Because that's a lot of times what we miss in the evening when people are like, well, you know, I won't cook food or that's when they won't cook carbs or, or whatever it is. Um, so try that. Let's see. And, and you know, remember, bananas are like your best friend on this, especially if you're transitioning, especially if you're trying to do more raw every day. You know, bananas have a very filling effect and a very energizing, though calming at the same time. So let's not forget that. Here is what I'm having a little bit later. Look at that. It looks like rice and stir fry, doesn't it? But I'll tell you what it is. It is chopped up cauliflower. And then I have this little marinated vegetables. I have, um, I don't have any fat in this because I'll have some fat later. Um, right here it is. But... I wanted to have a little bit of fruit base in that. I don't mix avocado with like mangoes. It's a bad combination for me, but it's got peppers, onions, green onions, um, celery, it's got mango, and it's got a little bit of coconut sugar, and it's got lemon juice. And what I did is I put all that in a bowl, and I really, really mashed it together and let it sit around for about an hour and put it on there. Now it's all marinated. Oh, there's some um, dehydrated onion flakes on there, too, and some red crushed red pepper. So I just thought that's really beautiful to serve somebody, isn't it? So I want to come to y'all with that, and I might be back later. I have to go out and do some things. I was missing for a while because I was trimming my puppies, and that may be a skill I'm not going to master. I don't know. They don't really care. They're just like, shame me down, Mom. <laughs> But their little feet, you have to get in between the toes, and I'm real scared I'm going to cut them, and I don't know. My older dog, he, he's all, he's going like this when I'm trimming him. He's going, hmm, like he's really nervous. <laughs> Let's dance. You like my new shirt? I go about my business. I do it by.